Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to be taking a look at my command center, as I call it, the room where all my computer equipment is, where I do all my recording, all my editing, all my uploading. Now, I live in a small two bedroom apartment, so I've got to figure out a way to fit a lot of computer gear into a small room. I think this room is something like 13 by 14 square feet, so it's pretty small. This desk over here is my wife's desk, and I've actually hooked her up with some pretty cool gear. The monitors there are both 1080p and uh, they're hooked up on a really cool monitor arm made by Ergotron. I absolutely love Ergotron products. I use their monitor arms for all my computer setups. Just got standard keyboard, mouse, uh, nice Rocket mouse pad, and uh, actually built this computer for her down here, which is uh, getting replaced actually by my old gaming computer right here, which has actually got a solid state, but we'll get into that in just a little bit. So she's got a nice computer set up here, um, got some nice headphones too, and it gets pretty hot in here. So as we move along here, you'll notice I got a little AC unit hooked up to the window there because it gets super toasty with all the PCs in here that are, if they're running at one time. Now this here is my editing PC. You'll notice it's got three monitors. Again, I'm using Ergotron monitor arms, and I've been using Ergotron monitor arms for like 10 years. I just got some new ones and they've made a lot of cool improvements to them. I've got a um, Audio Technica 2020 recording mi mic up there. I think that's Audio Technica. Yeah, there we go. Audio Technica. Got the pop filter, a nice little uh, mic arm, which I can use to move the microphone out of the way if I want. Um, so, yeah, I got three monitors all hooked up to this computer here. Um, it allows me to edit, allows me to do file management on one monitor then I can do YouTube on another monitor which is cool got a standard Microsoft keyboard here this is an old Alienware mouse that I just kinda threw on there because it's an editing PC it doesn't matter too much got an Xbox uh, 360 controller which is actually a cool custom Battlefield one and I actually am gonna be using that for spectator mode because using a controller for recording spectator mode actually looks a lot better now, as we move down here you'll notice I've got a uh, that's a four terabyte drive that I've been using at recording events. I've got a mix amp there from Astro. Not actually using Astro headsets. This is the AD700 headsets which are really great for gaming. Um, and then the actual box down here is uh, I'm really... I built this box on my, on, uh, on my own and I'm quite proud of it. In fact uh, I'm kind of jealous of it as my gaming PC has a quad core. This one has a hexacore which I use for uh, just rendering as fast as possible. It's got 32 gigs of RAM, Windows 7 Professional, and it's actually got SLI 670s in there. So not only can this one edit, but I can actually have uh, somebody else record spectator mode while I'm gaming on this PC over here. So it's a, it's a really cool setup to have. Now moving along to the gaming PC, this up here is a mixer, and this is a really nice mixer. I use it for uh, setting up stuff if I'm going to be doing streaming or just changing the audio channels however I want. This is very powerful. It allows me to jack into pretty much any kind of hardware that's available. Now the arm that we have down here is again an Ergotron arm and I've got a laptop basically seat on there. So it allows me to put my mixer on there and I can move it around and get it out of the way if I want. Basically it just doesn't take up any desk space. So down below I've got another Xbox 360 controller. I've got my uh, Gunner gaming glasses and you guys can make fun all you want but if you're gaming for hours and hours every day it's a great way to try and reduce potential headaches that you might get from monitor glare that sort of thing um, this is I forgot what brand keyboard this is but it's a 10 keyless keyboard using Cherry MX there we go Leopold um, it's using Cherry MX red keys and uh, I used to use that for gaming it's really nice but I found that the keys were almost too sensitive and I would accidentally do stuff like throw grenades when I didn't mean to. Uh, here we've got the, this is Mionix. Um, this is their ambidextrous mouse. I did a review on this. It's a really nice mouse and I use that for my second computer which I have two computers set up on this desk here. So let me wake this one up and you'll actually see how I'm setting up my monitors for Battlefield 4. So the top screen there, this is where we're going to show battle screen. So my map overlay, all that, it's going to be right above my main gaming monitor here. This is the Philips 144Hz gaming monitor. And I'll be playing BF4 on this one and looking up here to look at my battle screen. So I think that's a pretty legit setup. Um, my microphone is actually an older Blue Yeti, which I like. I don't think it's as good for recording, but for actually doing in-game audio and live streaming stuff, 
uh, it's really good for that and it allows me to use a headset which is this guy right here which is my 8700X my again Audio-Technica one I think this is the best gaming headphones you can get the problem is, is they don't come with a microphone built in so that's why I have this one sitting here so I can just game and talk to that mic I don't even have to turn my head it picks me up just fine now on the desk itself you'll notice that I actually have two mice here um, I don't, I don't recommend using two mice, you don't need two mice, but I'm actually still debating which one I want to use in the long run for Battlefield 4. I've been using the Razer Death Adder 2013 for a long time, it's been a really good mouse, I like it a lot, I love Razer drivers. And I just recently started using the Rawcat Cone Peer, this is also a laser mouse. And I gotta say the grip on this one is just great. So I've been using that one a lot and I might switch over to Rawcat for BF4, I'm still debating, not sure. Uh, using my Razer, this is the Black Widow Tournament Stealth Edition. I think it uses like MX brand keys or something like that. Uh, but I love these short keyboards because I can put my mouse and keyboard right next to each other when I play. I don't have to have as much arm distance apart and uh, I can just have generally a more ergonomic setup when working. Now uh, looking down here, my secondary computer is this guy up here. This can also be a streaming PC. So the top monitor I can switch it over to streaming mode if I want um, which is really nice. It's got a 3770 in there and then this has also got a this has got a 4770 in here. This is my Origin PC that Origin made for me and it's just a beast. I love this thing a lot. You'll notice here I'm actually using the uh, rig mixer that comes with the rig headsets. I actually like those headphones a lot and I really like their mixer and I'm using that currently. Um, and so down below you can actually see it's got the uh, light up uh, GeForce GTX 780s in there and it's got the um, liquid cooling system, uh, Corsair case, all that stuff. So this thing is just a beast. It's got 16 gigs of RAM which is more than enough for gaming. And so, yeah, this is pretty much where everything gets done. Oh, yeah, uh, everybody always wants to know about these little things here. And these are made by, what are they called? Ergo Rest. You can get those on Amazon. I've linked them multiple times before because everybody is just like, what the heck are these things? And basically, it allows me to, I'll show you this one over here. I can just put my forearm in here, move it up to the keyboard, and then I can move it around like this. And basically, I have a nice... Uh, rest for my forearm that's always at the appropriate level and I never have to worry about like chafing or anything like that if I'm moving my arms around so I think these are honestly some of the coolest additions you can get for a gaming PC uh, it just always keeps your hands in the nice appropriate positions and uh, it's very comfortable I know I got a ton of wires here and part of that's because it's a small room and it's very hard to move things around and get really neat and organized. Behind this is all Legos. Everybody always wonders about that and I'm a pretty big Lego fan and unfortunately I've kind of gotten out of it recently because I don't have enough space to uh, mess around and build stuff. I used to actually run a Lego store online which was a lot of fun and you'll kind of see over here I still have more Legos and uh, one day I will be able to upgrade to hopefully a bigger area so it's not just a tiny cramped little two bedroom apartment. Now something that a lot of people also ask me about is my gaming desks. Now that's something that I think is a pretty important subject for anybody who's uh, hardcore into PC gaming, even console gaming if you want to use a nice monitor, a nice high refresh rate monitor that's maybe a 24 inch monitor, you want to be pretty close to it so a desk environment is probably your ideal setup. Now finding the right desk can be a little bit tricky and this one here is actually an Ergotron desk and you'll see here um, it's got one central pivot point and if I pull this lever here I can actually collapse it into a sitting desk so it changes its height Now I do most of my work standing up I do all my gaming standing up I do a lot of my editing standing up if I get a little tired then I'll sit down and edit but same with this desk here if I just go ahead and pull this lever then I can convert that to a sitting desk and I would do it but it requires two hands to kind of lower the desk down and uh, I'm holding the camera with one but you guys get the idea. It's These are uh, some really nice desks. They're a little bit pricey, but I've kind of shopped around and looked at the market and what other desks that convert from sitting to standing desks. And some of them are either a lot more expensive than these ones or just really crummy in quality. So I think this is probably one of the best options you can get desk-wise. So all in all, I've been able to fit a lot of gear into this small room here. The one, my major complaint is that it gets very hot, and again, that's what the air conditioning unit is for. 
but uh, I can't run that while I'm recording commentary. So if I'm ever recording voiceover stuff or recording in gameplay and it's a hot summer day, sometimes it gets crazy hot in here. And that's just something that I'm hopefully uh, will be able to remedy if we ever upgrade to a bigger apartment or a house at some point in the future. I can have like a, a an AC system that isn't crazy loud, uh, some sort of central air thing. But anyway, uh, this is it. This is the command center. This is where it all goes on. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll put links to any of this hardware, any of the important hardware gear that you're curious about in the video description. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Level Cap, signing off. Thank you.